so next we'll go for line command okay so please make a note line command some some basic theory under line command you can write methods to draw line methods to draw line you see i think we already discussed about the template file right in the previous session template file yes, sir. the file which consists of setting use in the project to save the time right you can create yes. your own template also by adding your own settings and can be used uh, uh, as per the project requirement so here if you talk about this line command you can write methods methods to draw line first is absolute method or absolute coordinate method second is a relative coordinate method you can write the fill absolute coordinate method second is a relative coordinate method third is a polar polar coordinate method and the fourth is direct distance method direct distance method and in this three method this method is very useful because with this absolute relative and even with the direct distance method we can comfortably draw horizontal and vertical lines but if you want to draw the inclined lines including horizontal vertical this polar method is very useful okay and not mean that you must follow all the method just you people are learning so i am explaining all this method but in actual practice you can adopt any method as per the requirement so most commonly the polar method is useful for drawing horizontal line vertical line as well as inclined lines but in case of absolute relative and direct distance method horizontal vertical line comfortably you can draw but inclined line means it will create a confusion okay anyhow i'll show you all this method and with some basic exercises today okay with some basic exercises so can i raise this online yes yeah. hmm. so first we'll start with the absolute method okay and the first command the first command is what the line command so for line command you see line command you can access with the l inter you can make a note l inter is a command for line i think most of the people already know this l inter is a line command l inter or l you see in autocad even the space bar also work like a inter you can go for pressing space bar or enter enter key both will work the same and if you want to end any command make sure that press escape generally we are following this after completing anything any command press escape to come out from that command but still if you are in that command and if you want to use another command you'll get confusion so make a habit after completing the command press escape escape key that will help you to avoid confusion for example you see l enter i'm drawing a line this this one and now i want to go for a circle and with the continuation if i type c you see in c means in the continuation is it's a close close option i'm not getting any circles circle actually c enter is a command for circle but with the continuation of line c will become close so to avoid confusion what you do after finishing any command make a habit to press escape key so that you can come out from that command and when you use the new command there will be no confusion okay these are all based on the experience okay so just follow this that will help you so you can use the enter command uh, sorry enter key or a space key after typing any command and to end the command press escape okay so back to the topic so we'll go for the line command the first line command so line command you can access by typing l enter here the first option or is from the draw panel from the home tab you know what is tab already discussed the beginning session from the home tab drop panel directly you can access you can click this line you'll get the same same uh, same response in the command window or else if you want you can activate this if you are already familiar with the previous versions then this will be easy for you show menu bar in the menu bar under draw you can find the line so there these are the multiple ways to access the line command but the best and easy way in autocad generally we prefer commands because with the commands we can save a lot of time okay but there is no rule if you're comfortable with with the directly uh, command from this panels you can use this there is no rule for that but experts are using the commands to save the time so from the starting only if you use the command that will help you to save the time and quickly you can operate this uh, uh, with the with the time of dealing with the drawing okay so i'm going to deal with the l enter and i'm going to show you the first method so you can write line command under line command you can write absolute coordinate method 
absolute coordinate method and i'm going to erase this zoom inter zoom all so this ucs is that remember this coordinate uh, x and y nothing but ucs user coordinate system by default it is at zero comma zero okay so first line line uh, command with absolute coordinate system method so you can write absolute coordinate system now i'm interested to draw this rectangle so what will be the point so let i'll give you the theory first then we'll draw the same for example i'm interested to draw a square with the dimension here in next x direction 10 mm in y also 10 mm so what will be the coordinates because in absolute coordinate system we are going to use the coordinate x comma y so if i start this as 0 comma 0 what will be this point online 10 comma 0 10 comma 0 right what about this this point 10 comma 10 comma 10, 10, comma 10. what about this 10 0 comma 2 always use x comma y format first x then y so here this is directly going up from the origin so x is 0 and y is 10 right so remember it's very simple absolute coordinate system with the for the line command uses the coordinate x comma y very simple hmm. so let me let me draw the same now in in cat hmm. so you see l enter and remember initially as a beginner follow the command window for the next step because the command window will guide you will give you uh, or will ask you for the next input so you see when i type l enter can you read at the bottom in the command line line specify first point means the command line is asking you to specify the first point so remember if you as a beginner if you are learning this hot ticket for the first time as a beginner it's it's a good idea to follow the command window so that you will not get the confusion suppose in the command window is asking for the first point but you are you are entering some other things or some some information that will not help okay because the software you must follow as per the software instruction so here I'll enter specify first point my first point start from 0 comma 0 for example to avoid confusion to follow the same drawing you can start from 10 comma 10 also but if I start 10 comma 10 with a distance 10 means the 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 point is going to be 20 comma uh, 10 okay and it will change but to avoid confusion initially i'm going to use i'm going to use uh, l enter hmm, starting 0 comma 0 right then next point is what 10 comma 0 hmm. after that 10 comma 10 right and then 0 comma 10 then you see if you want you can enter 0 comma 0 or else if you want to end the command you have option close you see can you see the sub option here close exit undo these are the sub option exit means directly you can x enter or press escape undo means you know undone if you want to go back to the, the previous point and close sub option c enter and remember the blue color is a shortcut to get or to use the sub option so simply what you do you can type 10 comma 0 comma 0 to join the starting and end line or else the simple option is C enter it will close okay so whenever you want to end from the last point type C enter it will close this can be used for line or even for polyline that we'll discuss later okay so I think got the idea what is absolute coordinate method online so, okay we'll do quickly one more drawing you can just uh, copy this uh, this drawing that will help you to uh, to practice after class this drawing 0 comma 0 with all the coordinates 10 comma 10 uh, sorry 10 comma 0 then 10 comma 10 0 comma 10 0 comma 0 or C inter is the first exercise I have some more exercise I'll share with you some related to line will use this uh, simple line diagram let me complete the the methods first okay for uh, this line the second option uh, you see the same method will go for one more quick drawing this time I'm going to use what I'm going to use uh, the starting point is not 0 comma 0 I'll use say 10 comma 10 then the coordinates will change now so first we'll define the coordinates so dimension I want 10 by 10 only but here starting point is not origin starting point say 10 comma 10 then what will be this coordinate this coordinate this one 20 comma 10 20 comma 10 good then what about 20, this 20 comma 20, 20, comma 20. Hmm. because starting with 10 and 10 means 20 and y starting is already 10 and up is 10 is 20 what about this 10 comma 20 10 comma 20 right simple hmm. so quickly line enter 
I'll enter starting point 10 comma 10 and then directly 20 comma 10 then 20 comma 20 then 10 comma 20 then scene the, then zoom extend or zoom all okay anyhow we set the limit for 100 comma 100 so when you go for zoom all the complete 100 comma 100 will be visible in that we use what you see when i go for zoom all uh, and the limit is 100 comma 100 in that the dimension is 10 by 10 so it's a small so we have one more command you if you want to see only the drawing not the limits on screen then you can write z enter e enter e is for extend zoom z is a zoom and e is a extend z enter e enter when you go for z enter e enter the software the autocad will ignore the limit it will just focus on the drawing and whatever the drawing that is trying to set on the visible screen you see now the limit on the screen is 10 by 10 sorry 20 by 20 because the drawing is dimension start from 0 comma uh, 10 comma 10 and uh, this dimension is 10 now so the limit on screen now is uh, 20 by 20 so z enter e enter will help you to set the available drawing on the screen uh, on the available screen okay and z enter a enter means drawing with the limit it will show you the drawing with the with the limit and z enter e enter means it will it will ignore the limit only focus on the drawing that is going to be adjust on the available screen okay so this basics will help you just um, remember so this first method absolute method is done second method you, you know relative uh, coordinate method hmm. relative coordinate method hmm. already given at the starting so we'll go for the relative coordinate method in relative coordinate method let me erase this first relative coordinate method the starting point will become origin i'll show you for example uh, again i'm interested to draw a square with 10 mm this also 10 mm 10 and 10 now in relative coordinate method first of all we are following the syntax means the code at the rate x comma y in absolute coordinate system directly x comma y but in relative coordinate system at the rate x comma y and remember this at the rate will help you to make that last point as an origin okay so there is no rule in absolute uh, relative coordinate method to start from the origin or start you can start from anywhere on the screen for example this is the first point when i type l enter it will ask to specify the first point so first point can be anywhere for example 30 comma 30 20 comma 20 or directly i can pick or i can click on the screen click on screen it means there is no rule you must specify the exact first point but after that i'm interested to draw this line in x direction with a test 10 a 10 distance so what will be the code so you need to go for at the rate x comma y x distance is what 10 y is zero y direction is zero so when you use at the rate this starting point will become origin so from the origin 10 comma 0 means x direction 10 0 uh, y 0 right now from this point if you want to go up again this will be this will become origin so at the rate if this is origin if you want to draw this vertical line what will be the code x comma y x is going to be 0 y is going to be 10 getting a point so at the rate when we are using at the rate means the that current point will become origin right now I am here at this point at this point from this point if you want to draw a, a 10 mm line with with the left direction left direction means if this is origin from the origin if you go left the x is going to be positive or negative negative, negative. negative no? so at the rate minus 10 comma 0 right similarly from this point if you want to go down at the rate x is 0 but y is what minus 10 because from this po point if you go down as per the coordinate system negative now uh, negative y <laughs> so quickly copy this we'll follow the same to get the drawing with the with the relative method i'll show you the exercise but these are very basic so you can copy this exercises when i use i'll share with you next so we'll continue now let me draw sorry so l enter starting point can be anywhere i'm going to click somewhere here then my code is at the rate you can follow on the command window at the rate 10 comma enter first point at the rate 10 
comma zero then at the rate zero comma ten then at the rate minus ten comma zero then c enter or at the rate again zero comma minus ten right or else you can go for c enter and you see it's still the command is active so you know press skip right so this is about relative method so remember in relative method the last or the current point will become origin because we're using at the rate okay clear